Hi, welcome to iEducator. I am teacher Jeff. I am a university teacher and I'm an educator and an engineer by now. First of all, we need to make ourselves be acquainted on the difference between financial and managerial accounting. Now, as a basis for comparison for definition, financial accounting is defined as an accounting system which is concerned with the preparation of financial statements of an organization to provide financial information to both internal and external users. Um, therefore, it is intended for all users, both inside the company and outside the company. On the other hand, managerial accounting is an accounting system for managers within the organization to formulate policies and forecasting, planning and controlling the day-to-day -day business operations of the organization. So primarily, the users inside the company are managers who have to make decisions. Must Second basis for comparison, we are going to ask ourselves, is it compulsory? Well, for financial accounting, yes, it is compulsory. The reason is because it has to meet the requirements of Securities and Exchange Commissions, or SEC, as well as the Internal Revenue Services, or the IRS. On the other hand, it has to meet the requirements of GAAP, or what we call generally accepted accounting principles. And in contrary, managerial accounting is not compulsory because it is way more flexible compared to financial accounting. There's no requirements that you have to meet GAAP as it is only used internally. And lastly, it's not given to outside users. So you don't have to worry about the SEC and the IRS, or does it comply with GAAP? Now for the information for financial accounting, financial accounting provides monetary information only. Here, the information provided in financial accounting is purely monetary information or quantitative consideration that is numerical peso amount such as gross profit of 100 bottles of soda. On the other hand, managerial accounting provides monetary and non-monetary information, for example, the number of workers, the quantity of raw materials used, etc. So managerial accounting looks at and examines both quantitative and qualitative considerations. Qualitative considerations are those touchy feeling things. For example, how does the product impact customers? How does it impact employees? Next is objective. So what's the objective of financial accounting? The objective of financial accounting is to provide financial information to external users. Financial accounting was based on transactions that had already occurred, which means financial accounting is more of a backward emphasis rather than forward looking. When I say backward emphasis, what I mean about this is that financial accounting uses historical data for comparison. For example, if a certain company plans to apply a bank loan, then the bank screens the application of the firm first before granting the loan because they want to know the liquidity of the firm through its financial statements. Also, if the firm has an outstanding loan to another financial institution, then they are able to meet its maturing debt obligation. So that's usually the question that financial institutions should ask before someone or before a business is going to get a loan from them. On the other hand, the objective of managerial accounting is to assist the management in planning and decision making. The primary goal of management accounting is to provide information for internal decision makers only. Primarily, the internal users of the company are the managers, 
may it be again like i said earlier may it be the finance accounting marketing or production managers or any managers inside the organization who have to plan and control and make decisions a lot of information that managers utilize to make decisions is not something that the firm would like to provide to external users such as how much is the gross profit of marketing advertisement of course abs-cbn would not like gma uh, to know about that information and vice versa next is format for financial accounting it's specified there is a specified format to be strictly followed for the financial statements to be generated and in contrary managerial accounting is not specified or non-specified managerial accounting doesn't have a specific format remember it does not only um not only does management accounting examine quantitative but also qualitative considerations right qualitative considerations may vary depending on the nature of the business next is time frame for financial accounting the financial statements will be submitted at the end of the accounting period which is usually one year now in accounting in general just a brief recap remember that there are two types of accounting periods right first is the calendar and second is the fiscal period now the internal revenue services or irs defines calendar year as january 1st through december 31st or the calendar year that always starts on january 1 and always ends on december 31 on the other hand a fiscal year is any consecutive 12 month period that ends on the final day of any month except december and for managerial accounting the submission of the financial statements that's going to be as per the need and the requirements of the organization that means to say that the submission of financial statements are more timely being more timely we may sacrifice accuracy and results okay so moving on to users as discussed earlier in the introduction part the users of the financial accounting are both the internal and external users and for managerial accounting those internal users only or the managers working within the organization now who are these external users so external users are the following but not limited to it can be potential investors creditors government agencies research scholars we also have financial institutions and competitors on the other hand the internal users of financial statements are company owners accountants may it be management accountant finance accountant or cost accountant we also have managers from different uh, departments within the organization and lastly we have the auditors and for publishing and auditing for financial accounting it is required to be published and audited by statutory audits and for managerial accounting it's neither published nor audited by statutory audits okay that's just a brief discussion in regards to the difference between financial accounting and management accounting i think that's a good place to stop so if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the latest updates thank you